So that's that. Uh, it's ID badge from Bruce Wayne from uh, Wayne Enterprises. Nice picture of Lucius. Well, on to the next page is the front elevation of Wayne Manor. You know, blueprint diagram drawn out for you. Uh, a couple pictures of it. And they uh, start to talk about the Batcave. Now this is really awesome. Uh, it's another inserted envelope. There's a cool picture of uh, Batman Begins suit right there. I've never seen that picture in the movie. I don't even know what the hell he has on his utility belt. Anybody know what that is? Um, it's fucking weird though. Um, they got another uh, sticky note here. The cave dimensions and uh, everything else. Um, this is actually pretty cool. It's a complete blueprint of the bat cave. Pretty badass. You know, you unfold it. There's the uh, foundation of the South Ace Wing, Master Wing. Um, pretty much everything that, you know, it's going to be hard to, to get uh, all the details on this, but um, I guess that's the spot where the, the tumbler parks and everything. You guys really have to pick this up if you want to really read it and get into it. Like I said, if you're a, a diehard Batman fan, then uh, this is definitely a must buy. Right. So again, um, this is what really excited me about this because, you, as you guys know, I build dioramas and stuff. So there's all the blueprints in the front elevation for the uh, the armory from Batman Begins, which is right there. Pretty cool picture. I get a lot of detail when I'm gonna go and make that. I mean, it, it pretty much describes everything that there's a cooling system within it that keeps the suit from uh, deteriorating. Next page, uh, there's some more sticky notes, you know. This one's from Alfred. More uh, blueprints of the Batcave. And there's uh, Bruce in his spelunking gear. Why is it coming out so freaking blurry? Nice another picture of Bruce. Uh, it's a picture of the tumbler coming into the cave. No diagrams, all kinds of shit. Um, then they come out and they show you <clears throat> uh, the the prints and everything for the uh, you know temporary Bat Cave from the Dark Knight, which is that underground bunker. And then uh, there's another. Uh, Sticky note from Lucius Fox. Like I said, guys, this book is insane. More sticky notes. Um, there's the uh, computer console area. Um, this is a really, really good picture of the Dark Knight armory cage. Sick. Kevin, can't wait to get this, buddy. And so on. You know, there's the bad suit. There's a lot of cool pictures in it that, you know, kind of behind the scenes. And there's a little glimpse of what the Batcave's going to look like in the Dark Knight Rises, which you guys can see there. It's kind of like a hanger. This was a cool page. Um, shows the, the Begin suit, which is here. And his, you know, all the concept drawings for the, for the Bat symbol. There's another sticky note there. Uh, you didn't like that one. And then uh, you come on over here and you know, it checks off what. You know, definitely uh, a lot of info in this book. I can't say it enough. Uh, then they have the, uh, the bat signal. Uh, it comes with two stickers here. I don't know if you want to make your own. Uh, cool. Um, here's the bat suit. Um, obviously, you have the the begins version, and kind of like uh, concepts of it. It's kind of like a cross between Dark Knight suit and the begins suit. <clears throat> yeah, to me, it looks that way. Another uh, awesome diagram. There's the Nomex survival suit. 
what the bat suit from Batman Begins looked like and before he uh, sprayed the you know, latex paint over it. And then, um, this is really cool. Um, complete suit, front to back. Um, it's printed on really thin. Uh, like you can you can see my fingers through it. I don't, I don't even know what to describe this type of paper, but um, you know, it's got. Oh shit! I want to be able to show you guys this. Got uh, the utility harness on that one. Bad uh, suit. And there's the Nomex survival suit. It's going to show all the inner workings and how it works. There's the back of it. And there's Bruce Wayne. Look at him. Um, here's a cool picture of uh, Bruce in the first night out suit. I don't think anybody's seen that before. Um, standing there with the mask. Boots look a little uh, wrinkly, don't they? Um, you know. Yeah, more diagrams of the concept of the Dark Knight suit when, uh, how they want to get the, the neck to be able to move. You want to be able to move your head around. And, uh, there's the back elevation of it. And, uh, there's the concept drawings. The final render, I guess, of the Dark Knight suit. Just badass. Um, there's the back of it. Just uh, talking about the cape and the way it flies and uh, diagrams and how the gloves work, the gauntlets, what their purpose was. And, you know, it's a very interesting book. You guys need to pick this up. Um, <clears throat> a lot of drawings, how they put the cowl together. Another sticky note from Alfred, which is there. How they added the ears. Uh, more pitches. Uh, the microphone inside the air. 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 <clears throat> the uh, thing on the bottom of his boot to attract the bats. Then we get to the uh, weapons. You know, we got all the stuff for the uh, Dark Knight armory there. More diagrams of the utility belt and uh, awesome stuff, awesome stuff. There's the uh, saw that he cut out the uh, bullet to get the uh, fingerprint off of. More utility belt stuff. Uh, bio injector, I've never seen him use it. Maybe this is uh, for Dark Knight Rises, but it looks like a new weapon. Uh, again, more pictures. The, the grapple gun you know, diagram for everything there. It's a magnetic grapple gun. Is the actual harness. You guys can see that. Sick, sick, sick. More pics of the harness. Hey, like so there's all little booklets and <clears throat> little goodies inside this whole book. There's the periscope that it gets to that dirty little kid out in the, uh, the narrows. And we have the infamous uh, sticky bomb gun, which is there. And um, there's just diagram to show how it was mounted on the utility belt. Mangler, the uh, mines. I'm cool with calculation. I'm cool with calculation. Skyhook. Um, Lucius, and there is um, the EMP gun. If you guys want to read about what it is, um, you're gonna have to pause right there. Bang! All right. I mean, they talk about the the microwave emitter in here. Then we get to the good stuff. The tumbler. Every pick you could possibly want of the tumbler. 
know. Everything you need to know about it. Everything. I'm sure there's a ton of it online, but um, you also have uh, the bat. Uh, no, I'm sorry. This is the tumblers uh, cockpit. I've never seen these pictures before. I don't know if you guys. That's the view from inside, looking out. I guess uh, this is the side view. All right. Now we get the bat pod. Like I said, all the uh, specs. This book is incredible, guys. Maybe this light isn't helping. It even shows uh, how the, you know, just a simulation on how the uh, the bat pod escapes the uh, tumbler. We got the uh, all the blueprints and shit, all the um, you know, all the rough sketches and everything. I know I've said this hundred times. There is the bat, which is there also. Guys, this book is sick, man. I'm going to go through the rest of it real fast because I'm running out of time here. Um, right here, here's another uh, insert. This is the whole blueprint for the bat. I'm not going to take it out. As you can see here, these things are all through the, the whole book. These little uh, things to pull out. And then uh, we get to the actual uh, people. This is actually cool. I like the fact that they did this. These are actually stickers. Um, you know, we got the, the SWAT, Goth Gotham City Police, uh, courts, fire department, cool stuff, cool stuff. Um, and then they gave me this one also, which is a bunch of bat symbols. As you can see, uh, I know it looks funny, but there is a line here and a line there. So There's a bunch of bat symbols, um, more pictures, there's a file on a... Uh, Commissioner Gordon, uh, and then we have a whole section on Harvey Dent, um, another file in here, I got more stickers here, it's almost like from the viral campaign, the TDK viral um, stuff, uh, sexual photos in here too, Rachel, Rachel, uh, his emergency room intake forms, Cool shit, cool shit. I hope, uh, maybe they'll come out with a revised version of this book. Seeing that The Dark Knight Rises will be coming out next week. Rachel! Full, uh, biography on, not biography, but, uh, on all the characters in the, in the movies. John Blake, come on, look at me. Miranda Tate. Uh, Jonathan Crane. We have a whole, uh, section just for Dr. Crane in here. Uh, again, more blueprints of Arkham Asylum. Pretty sick. Really well done, too. It actually looks like real blueprints. Um, hey! 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 How are you? How are you? Alright. Uh, more, uh... Shit on Dr. Crane. Ah, now the man of the hour. The Joker. You know what? As I was getting through the book, I was getting towards the end. I'm like, how come there's nothing on the Joker? Uh, there's a whole file in the back. Another uh, records file on the Joker. Um, nice, nice, very glossy, thick cardy picture of the Joker in the jail cell there. Another one here also. But what's really cool is, I'm not going to take them all out, but there is an evidence envelopes with um, a bunch of Joker cards in here, which I thought was a pretty cool uh, touch. <coughs> They're so hard to get out. I thought there was more in there. Those are those four. Might be a two-part video here, guys. Um, uh, the other sides, they're all different. All different. Fuck it, I'll just take the other one. Comes with the um, 
Real Batman, please stand up. Again, uh, different back of the Joker card. The only thing is that it didn't come with the uh, one when uh, he goes to the, uh, the mob meeting. Says, "Here's my card." So that was uh, a little uh, odd that they didn't include that. But uh, put these back away. Up too much. Damn it. Wow, dude. I can't even open this thing. There we go. Alright, um, there's a cool insight uh, on the Joker here. I don't know how good you guys would be able to read it if you paused. But, um, gives a little uh, background of him, what they thought. They were saying um, he could have a circus background or a military background. I'm not going to spoil it for you guys, but you know, there's another picture on this side too. Very nice. Wow, two part video. Um, these are just as the page. Um, that must have been a concept drawing of the Joker. And we have a uh, profile on Bane, also. Um, nice picture of him. Uh, badass picture of Bane, guys. Look at that shit. Yeah. So, I kind of like that jacket a little better than his furry uh, brown one that he has. I've never seen him dress like that, but that's sick. Um, Catwoman, yeah, I can give two shits about her. So I, really, I, mean, I really don't know why she's even in the movie. Stupid character, in my opinion. And I don't know what this is. This is the fusion reactor. This has got to be something with the Dark Knight Rises. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. Oh, and in the back, there's a, another big envelope with a full map of Gotham City. Which is really, really cool. So, like I said, guys, try to, if you guys can pick this up, pick it up. I'm telling you, I'll leave a link into the, the description. I got mine off Amazon. Uh, Barnes & Nobles does sell it. They have it for about 20 bucks online and then uh, 40 bucks in the store. So, I got mine off Amazon. You guys got to pick it up. It's a definite buy if you, uh, like I said, if you're a big Batman fan, it's a good reading, good coffee table book, whatever you want to call it. But, um... Maybe in the future I'll get around to um, scanning some of the pages and I could do like a slideshow, but that's kind of a pain in the ass, so I don't know. Alright, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe if uh, you're not already subscribed. And um, hopefully I'll have some more videos coming at you guys pretty soon. Thanks for watching. Peace.